Have you had a narcissist future fake you? If you have, let me know what's happened in the comments. I'm curious how many of you have experienced this and what sort of future faking lies did they tell you? What did it do to you in the relationship? I wanna know what you think. And then let's talk some more about what future faking is and how it affects you coming up on this video. Let's talk about future faking and narcissistic people or toxic people in relationships. I'm Lise Colucci. We're gonna get started right away talking about what is future faking and how it's used to manipulate you and why it works. So future faking, basically a narcissist will take a very detailed vision of the future. They will take events that you really wanna do. They'll take anything that, that makes you as the person receiving the information feel like there is a future with this person, feel like there are future events, feel like there is a, a future of any kind. They don't really mean they're gonna do those things. They don't really mean that they are going to you know, follow through. They're saying it and they're saying it in such a way, such an excited and exuberant way sometimes that really gets you sort of hooked on the idea of a future with them and the idea of doing these particular events in the future. They're faking you out though, because they never really do these things. Often this is used early on in the love bombing stage. So when they're trying to hook you in and bait you in and, and get you to believe the delusion of the relationship they are creating, when they are setting the narrative for what you will believe is the relationship that you have with them, they'll use this future faking to set up a future. So while some of this might be intentional, some of this might be, you know, they know they're not going to follow through, but they can pass it off as, well, it sounds like fun. Well, I was just saying things that would have been fun to do. I was just saying things that I wanted to do. I was just, you know, I was just fantasizing with you. Right. But they say it in a way that really, really feels like they're going to follow through with it. But the point is, they never do. They don't follow through with these grand schemes and grand plans. And it leaves you wondering what you signed up for. Sometimes because narcissistic people are impulsive, t they tend to be impulsive, at least uh, they can say these things sort of as a giant fantasy but and and really in the moment mean it they'd love to do that thing but then when they think about it or the follow through is just like not there and so they don't do it so there's a mix i think of doing it on purpose to deliberately like i know she loves whatever and so i'm going to say we'll do the whatever and and then she'll want to be around me because there's always the thought and the hope that we'll do that whatever it is or it could be a mix of that and oh my gosh i really like to do these things that would be great you know the the impulsive excitement feeding off your supply in the moment as you get excited about the thing and then never falling through with it because that would actually require caring and and participating and planning so this experience of future faking is very bonding it bonds you quickly early on it bonds you Later on, especially when there has been any kind of devaluing or discard or something like that happening, they will future fake you and in order to lure you back in, in order to rebond you to them. Here's the thing. Here's the really tough part. It can look and feel like love on the receiving end. Let me repeat that. Future faking can look and feel like love on the receiving end. Both that you're being loved and that you are in love because it is a promise of something more it is a promise of something you're building together or a, prom a promise of something you're doing together right let's talk about some signs early on moving too fast people who you don't even know making plans with you people who you barely know talking about getting married talking about your future children talking about adventures you'll have together when they don't even know if you can sit through an entire dinner with them you know what i mean like it's way too fast often it can be less fast than that but still it it feels inappropriately fast for the situation that you're in it feels like you're being offered the world. If what you are experiencing in a relationship with someone feels like a fairy tale, feels like it's too good to be true, feels like there is just like you're too instantly bonded in, in this rapid, fast way, 
it's probably a big giant red flag, at least to slow down and look at it. Too many future promises, getting your hopes up. Too many things that is making you in the situation build hope towards something with someone, especially when you barely know them. Now, if you know someone for a while, you you get to know the patterns of when they're saying something they want to do and when they're saying something they fantasize about everyone does this a little everyone's like oh my gosh it'd be great to go to this place and do this thing right or oh my gosh you want to do this and this together and then it never pans out okay that can happen future faking is more systematic it's it's regular it happens repeatedly over and over and over and the things that they offer never happen where they might happen, but they don't happen the way they were promised. That's another one. They might promise you, let's just use a vacation, a lavish vacation. And when you get to this vacation, they sabotage it and ruin all the fun and they fight with you and they bring the whole situation down. So in a way that's sort of like future faking the hope and potential for the relationship and then taking it to the ground in pure narcissistic fashion. So what are they doing here? It's a manipulation tactic. It's a tactic to get you to fall for them, to think they're fun, to engage with them about future because see, they're hooking you in, right? And so, or if they're, you're already with them, it's to keep you on the hook. Basically, they are feeding off your heartfelt desires. They are feeding off your inspiration, your hopes, and your joys in life in order to gain supply for themselves. Not only that, but they're weaponizing your desires because they are never planning on following through with any of them. Or if they do, like I said, they get sabotaged. All about control, guys, as it always is with narcissistic people. So that is future faking. And I am Lise Colucci. If you need any help with coaching, group coaching, or peer support, check out the description in the video, in the main description. And hit the thumbs up, hit subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Take care. Bye-bye.